Hey everybody, it's Margo and today in this one I just want to make a quick money making guide. Uh, sorry, this one's only for engineers. I mean, engineers is probably one of the most popular professions as is because it's very, very useful in PvP and PvE. So I'm guessing there's plenty of engineers out there and you don't even need a very high level to do it. But what we'll be doing is fused wire farming. Now I went ahead and destroyed one of these until I got one so you could see, but this is one of them that I obtained from it. So what these are are target dummies. Now, target dummies are a um, item created in engineering, and they typically are used to distract the enemies for a few minutes. But when they die after 15 seconds, you can loot them, and they usually give back materials to recreate the target dummy. But they can also give fused wiring, and it's probably the best way to obtain it. Now, fused wiring is a very, very popular material. Right now, it says the price on my auction house is 425 four gold 25 silver that is a lot of profit compared to how much these cost to make now they do have a two minute duration before you can resummon them so i'll be summoning them as i'm talking and you'll see but uh it's very profitable now i made 100 of them because i needed lots of fused wiring when i went to go buy some of this i was trying to make this it's very popular too the field repair bot it takes one of those to make that and it's very hard to come by fused wiring other ways, which you saw right there. I just looted another one, so that's another four gold that I made off of something that only cost about 20 silver to make, <laughs> or something like that. So I would say the drop rate is um, 1 in 5 to 1 in 6. That seems fair. I uh, got two in a row, which is pretty lucky, but I made 100 of these. Now, to make 100 of them, you would need 500 copper bars... 200 linen, 100 wool, and 100 bronze bars because you need to make a uh, the b copper bolts. It's going to be very hard to buy copper bolts by themselves, so you probably end up having to make them yourself. Um, you'd have to make 400 of these, and after you make 400 of those, you'd have to make 100 of them into copper modules. That's where the linen cloth comes in. You also need copper bars for that, so those would get eaten up. That's the extra 100, and then after you're done with all those, you can make target dummies. So it'd be 400 bolts, 100 modules, and then straight up target dummies. That would give you 100. It takes probably about 20 to 30 minutes to make all these, and I would say the cost, it varies probably server to server, but 500 copper bars along with 200 linen, 100 wool, and 100 bronze bars, that would probably only run me like 20 to 30 gold at best. The amount of fused wiring that I would receive in the process of doing all this, I bet that fused wiring would go anywhere from 80 to 100 gold, because you're going to get at least, I would say, 20 of it. And when you're creating these target dummies, you do see that you get supplies back. So the supplies that are returned, um, like the copper bolts, the bronze bars, the linen cloth, you can get modules too. You can straight up make more target dummies from the target dummies you destroyed. I bet you'd be able to make another 30 target dummies in return for all the ones you destroyed along the way. Now, I consider this very passive money because this is something I can do anywhere in the world. Like if I'm in the middle of running a dungeon and uh, I need to stop and drink, it takes me longer than 15 seconds to get to full mana. Let me burn up my mana here and you know, you'll see. I'm just gonna burn it all up real fast. It's probably faster to do this. There you go. I have no mana, and all the mana it takes me to drink up, it would take me longer than this full thing. I'm not even buffed, you know, so my mana regen is very, very slow. I could summon one of these while I'm drinking, and when I get up to stop drinking, I loot it, and maybe I made four gold with a fused wiring, you know. That's why I consider it very passive money, because obviously the time it takes to summon all 100 of these is going to be a very long time. You know, that's 200 minutes over the course of three hours, but it only took me 30 minutes of time investment, and everything after that is just pure profit. It's just taking the time to actually do it every two minutes, which it does share cooldowns with some things, which is kind of annoying. Like if I need that mana ruby, it's kind of annoying that it shares the cooldown with that, but... um. In average everyday gameplay, usually you don't need that kind of stuff, so it's uh, very simple to make a profit by just playing the game and summoning these every two minutes. 
And it's even if you don't want to make a profit and you just want to farm fused wiring, this is an extremely cheap way to get fused wiring because fused wiring is very, very, very useful. It's very expensive. It's used in the repair bot. It's used in the goblin jumper cables. Um, I mean, fused wiring is very hard to come by and people are willing to pay a lot. There was none on the auction house when I went to buy it earlier and now it's posted at 425, which doesn't surprise me because outside of doing this, like your best bet is running Nomergon, and believe me, it is not a very high drop rate from Nomergon. So, you know, you just do this in between whatever you're doing with your daily routine, and you make money while making money. <laughs> so it's just doubling up your profit for no extra effort, really. Um, yes, you do have to spend the 30 minutes making all these, and you can do more than 100, obviously. You can make as many as you want, but 100 already takes up a lot of bag spaces. So that's why I say I wouldn't do more than that. Um, but you can infinitely do as many as you want and just constantly keep profiting. You know, there's no limit to how many of these you can make and still make profit from it. And then you can further, if you want to do it, the fused wiring can be used to make profit in itself. Um, goblin engineers can make these. I had these made for me by Daedalus, and then he uh, COD'd them to me. Very nice of him to have them make for me, but you could sell those because as a Gnomish engineer, I can't make this one. I can only make the normal Goblin Jumper Cables. The Goblin Jumper Cables XL are better, so it's better to uh, have a Goblin engineer who can make them for you. You can make those, sell them at a profit. I know it takes two of these to make one of these. And then there's the field repair bot, and even the field repair bot is profitable to make. Because guilds use these, you know, it's very, very convenient to not have to leave your raid to repair. So, you know, dump everything out, or craft it, and sell it on the auction house. I made five extra ones, because I want to see how well they sell. I imagine they will. It's very convenient for guilds to just be able to summon a repair bot, you know. That's a nice thing to have. But I thought this was useful. I thought it was a great way to farm these things. And uh, hopefully you make a bunch of money doing this, you know. I'm hoping, I, I'm saving all my fused wiring. But I'm hoping, you know, even if you were to sell the fused wiring, you would make a lot of money. You don't have to craft it in anything. You don't have to go to any extra effort. If you just summon these and sell the fused wiring, it's going to make you money. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy. And I will see you again very soon. Bye-bye.